Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about chronic bronchitis, and it's going to be represented by this broccoli over here who is on fire. Broccoli on fire for bronchitis, chronic bronchitis. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about emphysema, represented by the elephant in the zebra. Elephant in zebra for emphysema. So chronic bronchitis is one of the obstructive lung diseases in which there's an obstruction of airflow and air gets trapped in the lungs. And we're going to talk about the major findings and we're not going to make a complicated scene in order to make it most simple. All right. Whereas emphysema is defined by structural changes, mainly enlargement of the air spaces and the alveoli, chronic bronchitis is defined by clinical features like productive cough. And that's why you have this guy who's productively coughing over here. <coughs> Other findings include wheezing, <laughs> crackles, represented by the crackles, and cyanosis. When the increased carbon dioxide levels get so bad, it can lead to cyanosis, which is a blue discoloration of the skin, and this is why people with chronic bronchitis are sometimes referred to as blue bloaters. And hence this guy is a blue bloater. So let's look at the back of the scene over here at this board. So this board over here is going to help us remember findings seen in chronic bronchitis. So people who smoke expose their airways to all sorts of irritants and chemicals. And whatever these irritants are, their effect is to stimulate hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the mucinous glands in the main bronchi, as well as the goblet cells in the smaller airways, the bronchioles, which increases mucus production in both places. So since the bronchioles are smaller, even a slight increase in mucus can lead to airway obstruction. So this contributes to the majority of the air trapping. To make things worse, Smoking makes the cilia short and less mobile, making it harder to move mucus up and out of bronchioles towards the back of the throat to get swallowed. So people who do this and get too much mucus have poorly functioning cilia. So people with chronic bronchitis end up relying on coughing to get rid of their mucus plugs. The reed index is a ratio of the thickness of the bronchial mucinous glands relative to the total thickness of the airway, from the epithelium to the cartilage. Normally, this ratio should be less than 40%, but it couldn't be over 40% in people with chronic bronchitis because of the hyperplasia and hypertrophy of the glands. In terms of diagnosis of chronic bronchitis, this involves productive cough for more than three months in a year for more than two consecutive years. And for a mnemonic for the obstructive lung diseases, both chronic bronchitis and emphysema, Franchesta's RV needs some increased TLC, Franchesta's for FRC, RV for RV and TLC for TLC, but it's hard with COPD. To always remember that FRC, RV, and TLC are all increased in obstructive lung diseases. A final point is that the DLC is usually normal in chronic bronchitis, whereas it is decreased in emphysema due to destruction of alveolar walls. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on chronic bronchitis. Take care.